this darkened rock might look familiar to many guides and more playful kayakers. It lurks inside a wave, and if you go over it, it may eject your guest out of your raft and may give the guide quite the thrill with an extremely high pop-up. Stick around and learn about the hydrology and hazards, and maybe even lack thereof, here in the Olympic Channel of the Ocoee River. In particular, Callahan's, Godzilla, and Humongous. Yes, the fun parts. I hope you stick around. Foot entrapment is much less likely in the Olympic course on the upper Ocoee. It is not impossible. Compared to the rest of the Ocoee, it is, however, highly unlikely. This rock, with what appears to be soot or a big black stain on it, is the ejector rock near the top of Callahan's. This is the rock you desire to go to the right of in your raft. And most sane kayakers would also want to go right. Or maybe they'd be very far river left trying to sneak past Callahan's. This angle looking towards the ejector rock shows you why there's multiple waves and a very sticky hydraulic. You see that there is actually a rock backing up a ledge to really make it uh, kind of sticky there. Yeah, I've hit it sideways and at angles and it can do crazy things. I've had one guest fall out there over the years in the sticky hydraulic. She wasn't quite big enough to brace in well with her feet. And I had another that got ejected from the front left corner going over ejector rock. These three man-made ledges do to some degree help with some reactionary waves get where you want. However, if you come off with a big hit off of this wave, hole combo you can get trapped by the eddy lines and detour toward the safety eddy maybe not your favorite way to set up for Godzilla and Humongous from this rather sticky wave hole big hit jostling with the crew you proceed downstream to what is a bit lighter white water chaos a little more controllable you can't go over a bit of a hump and then you slide down what appears to be the backside of a glassy green wave. It's like a ramp down towards a breaking wave that makes an excellent pivot to point and pick your line just shy of Callahan's hole with Callahan's hole just to your left. And then pick up the conveyor belt and ride the wave train down toward Godzilla and Humongous. Here I'm standing on the concrete feature that was added during construction that creates the safety eddy. This area, this pool, is where senior guys saying safety will come down his first two rafts and they will park up on the rocks at the water line and then go downstream and hold ropes for their trip. If you're not saying safety, you would definitely prefer to be toward the middle of the river following the wave train known as conveyor belt. Too far right over here in the edge of the eddy could result in clipping this rock. It forms reactionary waves and helps channel the water into Godzilla and Humongous. If the unwary strike this rock and don't I would say immediately initiate a clockwise spin. You'll probably shove off all momentum and possibly drift into Godzilla sideways. And if you've been watching my videos, you got a real good idea of what happens next. It's not pretty. So let's get a closer look at this rock that's kind of ruined many a guy's afternoon, possibly, and maybe put a dent into their. Uh, beer fund or a lot of other guys happy with their free beer from uh beer bingo win this rock
can cause you to lose beer bingo if you're foolish enough to play it. These rocks form the Godzilla feature. A really sticky wave hole combination that could be disastrous. But you see, there's a channel right there that creates the tongue that's closest to camera rock. If a raft can climb up on that, either center themselves on that uh, tongue or at least have the left tube on it, they can charge right through Godzilla and follow a tongue kind of into Humongous. If they kick to the left, they can hit the back door and get out clean. If they're riding the tongue through Godzilla, they should have plenty of momentum to punch through Humongous downstream, even in the maw of the hole. However, there is one other thing that could go wrong. We'll discuss it shortly. Standing here on the rocks that form Godzilla, you see camera rock, and you can see that has a appendage that points out towards river right from the camera mount up on top. This feature helps back the hull and make it stronger and taller and meatier. And it also presents the hazard of pitoning your raft or kayak on it, which would then likely result in some craziness and very entertaining footage for other people to watch and enjoy, as you may have seen on my YouTube channel elsewhere in other videos. However, you can kind of see a gap over here. It shows you how the uh, humongous feature is formed. This cluster of rocks in the middle of the channel they create the tongue to the right which is one most guides take and it also makes a tongue to the left that kind of goes behind camera rock it is referred to commonly as the back door either of which if you get pond you have really good odds of making a clean run now you see how abrasive this rock is when rafts hit camera rock and dump their guests upon it it's time to get the boo-boo kit. Somebody's probably gonna have a nasty raspberry or abrasion. Hopefully they have their helmet on correctly. The rock formations that form humongous, as you can tell, this is not a natural feature. It was added, you can see right from the little appendage at camera rock, it points right toward the other end of it. As I mentioned before, it is possible to clip camera rock, and if you do, you better initiate it very fast. Counterclockwise spin, or you're probably going back into Godzilla and entertaining the crowd of NASCAR fans and vultures standing around waiting to see some carnage. That's right. Those people didn't show up to watch you run clean lines. They came for a show. As you see, immediately downstream, it's not horrible to swim here. But if you wait too long, get down toward the bridge on the right side, it's starting to get awful and just below the bridge it is awful across the entire river if someone were to have a bad day out of boat experience they want to swim immediately to the right like michael phelps and catch the eddy failing that maybe should grab a throw rope but they'll probably drift further downstream before they get vectored in and maybe meet a few more rocks the choice is yours choose wisely this seemingly innocent pile of rocks directly in front of me and along the crest of the wave going into humongous hydraulic here at this ledge actually creates a tongue you see over to the right you can see the water flowing through what is the tongue and over here closer to me there isn't much water flow but over this uh, rock that's barely dry is where the tongue for the back door is really formed kind of kicking you on out to the side the stickiest spot within humongous is in between the however quite a few people have been surfed and thrown out of the raft to the right side just on the other side of that man-made concrete ledge you see on the other side it is also pretty sticky and deserves some respect so this is the view that the photographers have. This is nearby the site of the umbrella during releases. 
see they have a bird's eye view of any interesting <laughs> how you say river play or unintended freestyle beatdowns so your photo will be recorded if you have a odd event here and likely someone in the crowd may be shooting video of the happenings as well speaking of which there will be a carnage movie party coming up soon labor day weekend i'm not involved in it and hopefully i won't appear in it except for maybe doing a stylish surf out of humongous with my crew still intact or maybe me knocking out a younger guy that was having a bad day in humongous over here and it already lost all but one of his crew so i pushed him out of the hole as gently as i could so another fellow older guy could have a nice clean run without some kid surfing in front of him. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, subscribe, leave a comment, suggest another rapid you want to see with the water off. Share this with your friends that may also be interested. Now's the best time of the year to come rafting. Small crowds, a lot fewer kids. Schools are going back into session. So bring it on down to the Coe on weekday. You'll enjoy much lower crowds and a lot more time to surf and play. If you're looking for more excitement, come on the weekend and book a full river trip. Those trips are 10 miles long, five miles into class four, and five miles into class three. But don't plan on doing the middle on the weekend with me because I'll be busy doing full river trips and middles are better during the week on weekdays. This channel is possible because of the supporters you're now seeing. <laughs> Cut, let's try again. This channel was made possible by the wonderful super fans. These are their names. These are the people supporting this channel and its associated adventures during the not winter of 2022-2023. So, if you want to join the list and make this happen, look at the URL. Come rafting with me. Those of you that make substantial donations, such as Ben Franklin's or Tecumseh Grants, will be listed right here. I really do appreciate you, and I appreciate you other viewers too, and Google Ads because that buys the cameras and the other electronics necessary to make this channel happen. Love you much. Peace out till next time.